I thought it would be interesting to have a look and see what I ate in a day on Slimming World. So, welcome back to Mrs P. What is for tea? Today is Sunday. Mr P is at work. So, I'm starting off with porridge. So, I've got 40 grams of porridge oats. I've weighed it. And I have got the lacto-free milk and I've added about a teaspoonful of vanilla essence instead of sweetener. So I'm giving this a go. So I was kicking off the day with some porridge. Welcome back to Mrs P. What is for tea? And I'm doing some meal prepping for work. So I've washed these jars. I'm just going to make up a couple of salads for my first couple of days. Now, I'm not going to put the sauce in the bottom. I've done that little breast of chicken. Now I've cut this. I've taken the skin off. The best bit of all. And I'm just going to slice this up. Oh, it's still warm. Just done that. The time stated: forty-five minutes on bake in the air fryer because my oven is off. I've cleaned my agar today, so that is actually off. So, I'm going to put some chicken in the bottom of these jars. I reckon I'll get a third meal out of this. Let me open a third jar. I'll just pop the chicken in. I might have that with something else, so... I think that I may get a third meal out of this. Right. I'm just going to wash my knife. I'll be back. So wash my hands, wash my knife, left my knife over there. Fantastic. Let me go get my knife. Just give it a wash because I've used it for cutting up chicken. So I've just washed it. I mean, the chicken was cooked, but still, I'm not taking any chances. Right, another cutting board. So what I'm thinking is this um, sweet and crunchy fine cut salad. I'm going to put that into each of the jars. Can you see the jars? Yeah. So this is for work. So I think I'll get out of this bag if I want mm, maybe two I've got another bag in the fridge for later in the week excellent so two jars got chicken in the bottom I'm going to make up a sauce um, with some yoghurt and curry powder. So to this I am going to add some peppers. These are the little tiny salad peppers. I'm just going to slice them up and add them to the jars. I like these. I really enjoy these. So a bit of each in each jar. Mr P normally does all the chopping for me, but unfortunately he's at work today, which is absolutely fine. That's what he's done. Now I've got beetroot. I don't even know if I like beetroot. And my plan was to um, grate it. But this is cooked, so I don't think it will grate. So, I'm thinking... No, that won't grate. Cut it up. Really small. No vinegar added to it. So it's just cooked beetroot. I always think that the more different colours you can have when it comes to salad and things like that, the better it is for you, because they all have the different... The different good points, don't they? A bit of sat, a bit of beetroot to each jar. Right, let's 
just one bulb. It goes quite a long way, doesn't it, beetroot? Never realised. So, see, not even sure I like it, but we are going to give it a go in the salad. And the bulb. Smell, it actually, it smells lovely. But just not something that I'm over familiar with. I know that you get it pickled, but I didn't want pickled. I wanted it just natural, so that is what I have got. I'm just cutting it up really small. Go in my jars. I know that I like it grated, um, but that would be raw. But this is cooked. So, oh my goodness, it makes a mess of your hands, doesn't it? I know that you can bleed beetroot, can't you? If you cut, if you're doing it fresh and you cut the end too close, you can make it bleed. And that is certainly all over my hands. I'll just give them a wipe. Then I'm going to add couple of spring onions as well. So I've got chicken in the bottom, mixed salad, beetroot, and then I'm going to add a couple of spring onions. Just chopped up quite small. I'm just adding to the, the free food, the speed food in each jar. Not committing to an SPD by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm just thinking that it's just make it tasty. Okay, and then I'm going to make up a sauce in my new little round things. I should just get these a wash and be back with you. Here we go, and I'm going to use the zero fat Greek yogurt, a little bit of salt, and I'm going to use some curry powder I've got here. I'm kind of aiming for a little bit of a, I don't know what would you call it, but like a coronation chicken type sauce for my, I suppose I could have put it on the chicken actually, never mind, might be a little bit much, of course this is free, so I wouldn't make it, if it, having this, well mind you it's, it's, it's protein I suppose, so you would get away with it on a nice pea day, so to that I'm going to add a little bit of salt, into each and then I am going to add of course I can never open these things that's why Mr P is so handy he always does it for me I'm doing wrong if in doubt stick a knife under it there we go so I'm going to add a teaspoonful of curry powder to each. Give it a mix. And that will be my salad dressing. Let me just give it a little taste. Wants a little bit of lemon juice or something in it. A little bit rough. And a little bit of lemon juice will cut that down a little bit. Squeeze a lemon. Excellent. Just pop that there and put the lemon out. Out for my 
for when I do my flip. Let's just half through that. Put a little squeeze a lemon in each. Lovely. Give that a bit more of a stir. See if that's better. Not quite coronation chicken, I have to be honest, but tastes not too bad. There we go. So, it's two days lunches for work, made. Sauce pot in each. And those will go in the fridge, and those are ready for work. One of them each day. So, moving on to fruit. Now, I like to have some fruit salad prepared in the fridge, ready for me just to decant into a, a jar, a Tupperware, something for work. So, I'm going to start off with cantaloupe. Is that cantaloupe? I'm not sure. But melon is a speed food. Take the seeds out of each half. Also got a honeydew and I've got two pineapples. So I'm just going to slice that up. My dinner's actually on. I'm having that um, fish that came with my order with my um, Asda order to do that bass. I've never had it before, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it see if I like it. I think it is a little bit less expensive than haddock and also seems to be more readily available. So I have got spring greens, carrots, runner beans, a few small Jersey Royal potatoes and the bassa and it's all in the steamer. A one pot meal for me. So while that's cooking I'm just doing my meal prep for for in the week. If I don't have this all prepped, honestly, I'm not having it. I'm not eating it. So this is all prepped and done. Just makes it easier moving on in the week. This is a tiny little melon, this one, but it is. Nice. Not as sweet as a honeydew, but nice. Let's see, I've also got a honeydew melon there waiting to be sliced up, but I'm just going to do one. And then I can slice the other one midweek. Keeps it fresher that little bit longer, doesn't it? Leave it in the skin. So to this, I am going to add strawberries and grapes. That's a pineapple done. I've got strawberries and I've got grapes that I got from. Ooh, didn't put any pomegranate in the salads. Ooh. Okay, not to worry. So I'm going to put the grapes. Just going to get that. I'm going to wash those. People were horrified I didn't wash my strawberries, so. I'm 
going to wash them today. So grapes, I've got green and I've got red. They're not the best. I prefer the fruit from m &S, But I just, to be honest, I didn't want to go out today. Mr P's at work. I just wanted to get my kitchen a good bottom in. So cookers cleaned a lot. So I kind of thought, you know what, a day at home will not do me any harm at all. So I just got an Asda delivery. And chat was lovely. He was here so early. Couldn't actually ask for more, if I'm honest. So. them all off. And I'll give them a wee wash. And we'll be back. So grapes all washed. Add them in. And then strawberries. Yep, strawberries look okay. I shall half these and then give them a wash. Oops, I won't do all of them. I just want to do enough to fill up that container. Then that will be my fruit for first couple of days at work. Wednesday, I'm only working half a day. Brian's having his bath. So I won't need a lunch Wednesday. I will have lunch at home on Wednesday. But I will need my breakfast and I like fruit and yoghurt. Although I have got those Kavarg yoghurts as well that I can uh, use. And I've got the sweet potato rice to have with the uh, chilli con carne that I've got in the so just wash these and I'll be back there we go strawberries washed in with the melon and the grapes I'm just going to squeeze some lemon juice in just to keep it all fresh once I've squeezed these lemons you know I put them into my dishwasher and I, um, it cleans the dishwasher. So there we go. So that it is. So I've got two salads, Monday, Tuesday, with chicken. Got my fruit prepared for two or three days. So we are all ready for work. For the next few days for Mrs P, I will later tonight do my Greek yoghurt and my fruit into a smaller container. And yeah, that'll be us. So thank you so much for joining me. I will continue with that, what I've eaten in a day on the same video. And continuing on what I eat in a day, I have got smoked bassa, which was a replacement from a smoked haddock, spring greens, Jersey raw potatoes, carrots, runner beans, and I've got one tablespoonful, level tablespoonful, which I measured, of oh, anchor spreadable, which I have just scanned and it is four and a half sins. Now, that would not be worth it for a lot of people, but for me it is. And how you spend your sins is entirely up to you. So for my dinner today, I have got... Uh, Smoked bassa, spring greens, Jersey royals, carrots and runner beans with one tablespoon for four and a half sins of butter. I'm really bad at drinking my water. So I've just poured myself a big glass of no added sugar squash and I'm going to try drinking that. Here we are, it's eight o'clock in the evening and I'm just going to have a snack. I've got some grapes, strawberries and melon with some Greek yoghurt. 
And I'm going to have that just now because I've just got a second pint of squash as well. I don't really want anything supper wise, so I thought this was a nice compromise. So I've got fruit and Greek yogurt as a snack. Well, I've decided to have a bit of a midnight snack and I'm having some popcorn and a skinny dream Rocky Road. The popcorn is three cents, the Rocky Road is no three and a half, the Rocky Road's three. I had four and a half cents for my butter, so what's that? Six and a half. So I'm finishing the day on 11 cents. So I, I feel I've had quite a successful day. I've eaten better than I have done last week, so I hope that will aid my weight loss. And I'm going to have a third pint of squash. So thank you very much for joining me on this What I Eat in a Day. Let's hope that we have a better weight loss this week. So thank you so much. Don't forget to click the subscribe button.